I've wanted to do the kind of work I'm doing at the moment since I was about five years old. Right now, we're sitting on the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. We're filming for Blue Planet 2. All right, is this a good spot? Oh, lovely, yeah. I'll come out off our left and come back to our right. OK, I'm wrong. All right, here we go. Oh, that's really nice. I was definitely bitten by the polar bug when I did my first trip to Antarctica. For me, it's special and I know how privileged I am to come every season, but I always want to go somewhere I haven't been, either by myself or if that's bringing a film team. One of the things I was hoping to film in this trip was sea ice. What we noticed was there were many seals popping through ice holes, so we really wanted to land on the ice and bring the camera eye level. We'll go down a little bit at a distance. It's yeah. better than if the helicopter stays a bit further away and we walk towards them. So you think the sea ice is probably a few feet thick? Yeah, I think it's better that you go first. It could be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bit daunting landing on sea ice because you don't know how thick it is. This time of year, it's melting. When it flew away, you're left completely alone on this vast expanse of ice. For the first few minutes, it was slightly unnerving. You have three over there, four over there. It's a good walk, and they could pick us up there if we don't want to go back again. So is it solid ice underneath? So it's a bit of slush on the surface, yeah. and then I wouldn't worry. Good. I'm glad you're not worrying. Famous last words. Whoa. Ah, that's interesting. Great. So, uh, either the tripod is very heavy, or we just... Uh, well, you've been having too much supper. Should we go that way? If you go behind me... Uh, OK. And... The trek with Martin was slightly unnerving because he kept falling through the first few feet of ice, assuring us it was fine. Yes, we have here. Yeah. Ooh. Seeing you disappear into the ice doesn't fill me with confidence. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. We're life jackets and dry suits and... Ooh. Feels quite solid down there. Oh, good. <laughs> How much do you weigh? I'm not going to tell you. We have two <laughs> microphones and microphone. one camera, and then a big one up in the air as well. I'm not making it official. Oh, it's amazing, huh? This is proper wet on sea stuff. So, Tyler, I don't know if you've seen them, but just on our side of these icebergs, we have the two seals that we'll try to film. I got that. Right, I'm just going to move in a bit, because what I'm getting at the moment is a bit wide. The most important thing with any animal is to be on the eye level of the animal. If you can be intimate with them, quiet and eye level, it's always enthralling. The moments when everything works, when that moment finally arrives and the behaviour happens, the iceberg floats past at the right angle, those moments are so worth waiting for. I think the wildlife programme shows a lot of people places that they never even thought could exist. And hopefully that will result in more people interested in an environment that is fairly fragile. Most of the time in your life, you're so busy that you're not thinking about what's around you. You walk down the road and you don't see what's above you, you don't see what's beneath your feet. But coming away on trips like this means you can just look. It's an amazing thing to be able to do.